Hello everyone, welcome to Hardware Centric. If you're having issues with your wireless LAN utility, then there may be a few solutions that you can attempt to fix the issues if such Realtek USB wireless LAN utility is giving you issues. We'll go over a few typical problems that can make the utility simply stop responding below, along with some guidance to fix that. I'll go over a few typical issues that can arise below. Incorrect installation, compatibility issues, issues with the wireless connection. First and foremost, what you should do is unplug your wireless receiver from your computer and then replug it. Sometimes just unplugging it and replugging it can fix the issue. Now you should check out its drivers and update the drivers accordingly. So we are coming to our PC and we're gonna right click on start, then go to device manager. From device manager, we are going to go to network adapters. And now we're gonna find which adapter is not responding and which one we are actually using at the moment. As you can see, I'm using this one. So let's see. Now we're gonna click on change adapter options. Then we will be able to see which one are we using. So we're using Wi-Fi and the name of this driver is Intel Dual Band Wireless AC 8260. So what we should do is we should update the driver which matches its name Intel Dual Band Wireless AC 8260. So here we're gonna click on update driver and then search automatically for drivers. And then Windows will download the driver automatically and update to the latest version. And if it's already on the latest version, then the message like this will appear. The best drivers for your device is already installed. So now we're gonna close this window and move on to our next step. Another method is to remove the driver totally and freshly installing the driver. So we're gonna go to device manager again, and then we're going to expand and find our driver and select uninstall driver and make sure to tick the delete driver software for this device and then click on uninstall. But since my driver is functioning properly, I'm not uninstalling it, but what you should do is uninstall it and then restart your PC and the driver should be installed automatically and then your device will be functioning. And if it's still not solving your problem, then you should go to Windows settings by pressing Windows plus I, and then going to update security, and then go to the Windows update section. Give it a few moments to load this page. And as you can see, our page is ready. Windows is showing that we are up to date and last checked today, 9.20 AM. It's not really a difference, only 40 minutes. So I'm still gonna check for updates. However, I'm still gonna check for updates and see what happens here. After checking for updates, if any update driver for your Windows is available, then Windows Updater will automatically download it and install it to your computer. And after installing the update, many bugs are fixed. So make sure to update your Windows to the latest version and download the latest components from Windows Update. So guys, if these methods helped you to solve your problem, then please do leave a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more great fixes like these.